Hello and welcome to the EVIT website. I'm here today with Jack Clusions, who's a pathologist working with virtual slides and computer supported collaborative learning or CSCL. Um, in using virtual slides, um, this isn't actually new, but integrating these with new technologies is. So Jack, can you describe how the system works? Uh, the original system was that we just had one student behind one uh, computer and have them just like in Google Earth uh, exploring a virtual slide so they could zoom into that pan or whatever what but now we wanted to try whether they could use just beside each other or on a distance to have them working together on the same slide what we developed for that in collaboration with the company and also with uh, the research development over here is a system where we used uh, a whiteboard where more people can get access to and that they see yeah, the lifetime changes on it so they can paste a part of what they have seen on the screen so make a screenshot, paste that in this whiteboard and that, that they could make annotations on that and when something changes on the screen in this whiteboard then every, everybody sees the same and every student has his own color for the annotations so you see a, a lively discussion then on the whiteboard and the next step was then, yeah, with an assignment, they had to fulfill yeah, one or more questions. Uh, they had to use the whiteboard. You see the discussion over there. They saved the image on the whiteboard with the annotations, with the different uh, annotation colors of the different students. And then they had to put it in a wiki. And this wiki, that was then the end part of the assignment. And then the teacher can go in, log in, and review it, give the feedback lively on this wiki. And that's easier than uh, having a Word file, which you have to first save to your computer, give annotations to that, save it again, and send it by email to all of the students. So this wiki is also uh, a new thing which can be used in this type of learning. You, you can already see now that there are so many advantages to this new uh, system, this new way of learning. Yeah, well, we have tried it out now once, and that was in a group of 80 students. Uh, also in the feedback, because the last part of this whole uh, Dokio system was then a survey with which we had, and they had to f uh, fill in some questions, and you could see that people uh, yeah, I really like the system. Uh, on the other hand, I noticed last year, because then the server went down, that people are also are going back to uh, the, the course. And in the old-fashioned way, having a student behind the microscope, yeah, they never came back. Uh, behind the microscope. I, as as a, a former uh, pharmacology student and having done microbiology, I, uh, I really appreciate the, the way that you're, all the students are looking at the same sample, so you can focus on actually gaining the knowledge rather than messing around with the equipment. Stu some students will use a microscope later on uh, when they are a professional, but most of them don't. So when they have to uh, adjust the illumination, and that's really pain in the butt for most of the students. So we thought, well, what's the most important thing? It's not adjusting the microscope, but that's recognizing what's there. But also much more than that, not only seeing a picture and recognize it, but also the pathophysiological mechanisms behind it. Why are those cells there? And what is changing within the tissue? So it's much more than only uh, looking at a nice picture and to recognize whether it's a Ferrari or a, a VW or something like that. Yeah, the background information is obviously very important as well. Yeah, uh, so and that's the advantage of having now a, yeah, in a website-like environment that you can give extra information by having extra pictures to it, uh, some flash animations, some other movies, yeah, to make it more lively for the student. And we know that they, uh, when they do an exam, that they still recognize much more than in the previous uh, settings where you had. Uh, a microscope and some, sometimes you had a beamer so you could demonstrate something but no, now you see that yeah, people are picking up it much better because yeah, they get, give, uh, you're, you're giving an introduction let them see a couple of things do some exercise before they go to a real section or virtual slide and then afterwards yeah, discuss with them what they have seen